crazy. This is a crazy week. You know, if we're not sure about how much energy is um, coming out right now, this is, um, this is really um, letting us know the powers that be. And by that, I don't mean any gods or anything like that. I mean, literally the powers, all the powers out there are, um, uh, are ready to um, make things happen. Okay, so people are starting to join us on Facebook. Hi, Nazi. Nazi, are you both on Facebook and Zoom? Awesome. No, no, I was checking uh, to see if you were on. That's all. Okay. <laughs> no, no, and I shared it. <laughs> Woo! Yes. <laughs> okay. Oh. So you guys, um, thank you for joining me tonight, our very special night in this very special week. Um, I um, have been working with the librarians all week, even more than usual. Um, I'll tell you earlier when I was talking with the manifestors, um, we were talking about what, what of our what is our primary skill for this, and I said really my primary skill for anything is my ability to become completely open and allowing and then get out of the way so that those who have greater skill or ability than me can make use of my body and make things happen. Um, who was it? I think it was you, Nazi, who asked like, if the librarians are, you know, divine and they're doing divine work, you know, where's the connection with this? And I was like, because they're not in our frequency, they're not in our, they're not physical. So even when they're divine and brilliant, there's only so much impact they can have in our hardcore 3D physical world without like a grounding tool, a conduit. Um, you know, it's like the same thing of electricity flying through the air like lightning or getting through an electrical line and grounding and turning on our electricity. So, um, and I'm like not even close to the only one they work with. They work with a lot of people. And, um, you know, I'm just one of the more outspoken, but there's plenty of other outspoken people and people who speak better than me. But definitely my native skill is my ability to just get out of the way to offer space and get out of the way. Um, and then, Comically enough, later we were, uh, some of the other people were talking about my old wellness center and how they, the people they met there and the work they were able to do because they met at my wellness center, work that like I was never invited to join. And I said, you see, this is my skill. I create the space and I get out of the way so you can do your work. You know, it's so, and it sounds kind of like a, sarcastic skill in a way, but I'm a little sarcastic, so that's okay. <laughs> all right, so to all our friends on Facebook who are joining us, this will be a wonderful kind of weird event. Um, I am here on Zoom with some people I work with often and a new friend or two. Um, so we are used to working with the librarians of the Akashic Records. They have been with me my whole life. And I'm, <laughs> they're like, they're knocking at the door. They're like, Benita, get out of here. <laughs> Kathy, I know you see it. <laughs> I can tell. So uh, in a moment, I'm going to leave my body and the librarians will come in and talk with you. Um, those of you who are on Facebook, um, because my eyes will be closed and I will not even be in my body. If you ask questions or give comments um, after the event, I will go through and see if I can answer them. And for those of you who are here with me on Zoom, feel welcome to ask questions, You know, contribute, chat with them 
as we normally do. Um, and for everyone, um, starting tomorrow, Sunday, uh, January 10th at 1 p.m., I am teaching a month-long class on manifestation, manifesting things for yourself, things for those you love, manifesting like people, like finding your tribe, finding your soul family, your soul mates, um, and manifesting for planetary healing and well-being. So I put a link in the comments. If you want to check it out, feel welcome to. It's only $75 for the whole month-long class. So um, I wanted to make it affordable so we could manifest. <laughs> and whew. Okay. Um, everyone join me with the uh, welcoming meditation. And you may find, as you open up, that specific friends will be here to share information with you. You may hear them whisper in your ear or in the back of your mind, or you may get sudden memories rising up or thoughts or snippets of songs, you know, whatever you receive, whatever you receive, accept it. Accept it and invite more. The librarians are here with us. Our souls, our guardian angels are watching out for us. So whatever we receive will only be through love and for our highest state of health and joyous well-being. Please join me with our welcoming meditation. Invite the bottoms of your feet to relax. Give your feet permission to relax without controlling or dictating or managing. Just give your feet permission to relax so that they can take charge of themselves. And as your feet relax, you will find all the energy that's stored there in your legs and your ankles and your feet just wants to flow out through the very relaxed bottoms of your feet into earth where our beloved Gaia, Pacamama, beautiful blessed mother earth is there to absorb all your energy she doesn't care if it's happy, sad, angry, whatever. Any energy from you, her blessed beloved child, is energy that she immediately absorbs into the core of her heart. Where she purifies it, amplifies it, and then sends it out to bring graces and goodness to all all of the beings of nature, your brothers and sisters of earth. And as your feet relax and the energy is flowing, you'll notice the top of your head is immediately reactive. Invite the top of your head, your head, even your neck, to relax and open up the back of your head. Open up so that all of the good graces from the cosmic forces, the universe, the dimensions, galaxies, spirits, the multi-states of being come flowing in through the top of your head. If you feel any pain or pressure, Acknowledge it and give it permission to relax. Let it know that this energy is good energy and it is okay to just let it flow in. And as that energy flows in, give your body permission to relax so that all of that great goodness can flow in through the light and airy top of your head, 
and filter around swirling through your mind, slow down through your neck and your spine, down into your core being and out through your extremities. Wherever this energy flows, it brings love and purity with it, flowing into your organs, your chakras, your bones, your veins, arteries, your molecules, cells. If you have any part of your body that feels sharp or painful or pressured or tense, acknowledge it, thank it for the kind protection that it loves to give to you and give her permission to relax, resolve itself, receive the energy. So invite all the energy to flow through you and around you. Your soul is above. Happy to send divine love and extra soul love to you. Your guardian angel is here. For those of us who work together every week, you know your personal librarian is here. And for those of you joining us on Facebook, if you find a librarian being with you, Say hello, welcome your personal librarian who records all your lives, documents, helps you plan your lives in advance, helped you to plan this life, your angel and your librarian. We're paramount with helping you design the life that you are living now. The librarians are here. They're ready to come into me so that they may converse with you. And I tell you, my heart is open to all of you. You are invited to open your heart, open your mind, open your creative spirit and receive all the goodness Now it's time for me to leave, for our friends, the librarians of the Akashic Records, to arrive. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Indeed, we have arrived. We are here. We are still filtering our beloved conduit, much as she speaks words of flow, has left many pockets of anxiety that we are repairing for her so we may fully enter and process. Hmm. Hmm. So we give greetings to all of you, our young friends. We are pleased to join with you on this beautiful evening. Mm -hmm. In moments such as this, when there is great upheaval, anxieties, distresses. It is 
more important than ever to take moments and appreciate the beauties that are also surrounding you. Because distress arises, beauty and nature do not disappear. When you ignore them, however, their energy becomes weaker, their power weaker. How can they help you to repair the damage done if you push them away and pay no heed to their presence? Hmm. Yes, things that you do not think about in the moment, but it is obvious, is it not? They're standing by to help, accept their help, understand. You are the boss of you. We enjoy that phrase. We enjoy it. We say it for, we are teasing our conduit slightly for the many times she says to us, you're not the boss of me. We say, of course not. You are your own boss and manager. Who else would be in charge of you but yourself? And we tell you as well, you are the ones in charge of yourselves. Each body before us, each person, you are the creator of your life. That does not mean you are personally responsible for everything that has happened to you. It means, though, that you have the ability to take your life to wherever you wish it. If you do not wish to do the work involved, or if you do not acknowledge the tools available to you, then of course, it is easy to become the victim of the situation. Now, we are not saying that every time you have been victimized or had a difficulty, it is your fault. Of course, there is no blame. And of course, things occur outside of your ability to manage them. This is not what we are saying. We are not speaking of responsibility for every moment in your life, every situation, every tragedy that has befallen you. What we are saying is in the overarching theme of your life, there are many paths available to you at all times. If you take a step further on your path, the vista has not changed. The cast of characters who are supporting actors of your momentary situation have not changed, for you have gone forward one step. But as there are always many paths ahead, you may veer yourself this way or that way to see where your destination will become. Now, those who are very experienced in managing their life path, who excel at learning from and releasing their karmic lessons, of course, these humans have the ability to make great change in the moment in place. However, they only got to that state of being through having lived many lives and had many mistakes, many tragedies, many experiences to give them all the lessons they need to now stand in their power. If you are not yet ready to stand in your power, know that you are on the path to become one who stands in their power. This is inevitable. Will it happen this life or another? 
only you will know this. Will it happen with greater ease or difficulty? This you may determine. This is where you have the power. You have the power of yourself and your faith in yourself. You have the power of believing in yourself and then going forward on the path that resonates with your belief in self, with your path towards always becoming your greatest, most self-loving self. So we say in these very difficult days to notice the birds singing and the flowers growing or the beauty of the rain or the delight of the cold weather upon your cheeks or the taste of the food or drink, the beauty of the moments help you to remain in balance so that you remember who you are and how very much you deserve to love yourself, respect and admire yourself. If you think only of the distresses, then this becomes a great challenge to love yourself. If you balance the distresses with the beauties, then you may bring energy from the beauties also to your heart. Of course, you may still feel anxieties. Our conduit is very good at self-management, but we feel much anxieties within her that are not normally there, but now they are. So we understand it is natural to feel anxious, distressed, but it is more natural to balance that so that it does not own you. You own yourself. You are your own boss. So we say, do not self-recriminate, self-appreciate, and know each day will be followed by another day. And for those of you who realize we, existence is not just the little linear timeline that you seem to cling to, each day is surrounded by the same day lived in different ways. If you do not enjoy how your day is in this timeline, imagine how it would be in other timelines and then invite that energy to join you with this one. Hmm. We hope this makes sense to you. To stand in your own power is so important for each of you has a unique power, a unique resonance that makes you special. Of course you are special. You would not have crafted this life, this being, if you did not think that this was special enough to devote an entire life to. Your soul created you for a purpose. And this purpose is for you to feel and appreciate within your heart. Hmm. 
find your personal soul song. Find your personal fire, your personal power. And know that this was designed within you for a wonderful reason. A reason that only you will know until you choose to share it. It is your secret from your soul to you. So, wonderful. We wish to speak with you tonight about about playing the mandalas, the grids of energy, the ley lines, the energy lines that connect all of us, be you on your planet or to your soul or to other dimensions or collectives or beings. We are all of us connected. If we are all connected, then of course, we may extend energy between us. You have experienced this already when someone who is dear to you walks in the room you see them and there is a heart song between you and energy or the opposite. We all are connected, you know, the opposite. When there is one you know is not healthy for your energy, you feel it and possibly go elsewhere or energetically disconnect so they do not affect you. But understand we are all energetic beings, be it more solid as you are or more etheric as we are, we are all connected. Some connections on your planet are having a little repair issue. The mandalas are a little in disarray for they're not getting the energy flow they need. Just as when you wallow in anxiety or fear, you are not getting the energy you need from the beauties around you. Some of the grids, the energetic grids on your planet are also not getting the beautiful infusions they need. There are those of you who are energetically creating repairs for the oceans, for people, for animals. This is one way, one excellent way to help with this. But another way is to just share your heart song. Share your heart song through the energy lines and any energy lines that resonate with your natural essence will flow this music from your heart. In time, you can learn to flow your soul through you, fill your heart so the song is amplified even out to whoever appreciates or connects heart songs. Ways to flow energy songs through the ley lines, through the mandalas, the grids and networks begins with your imagination. Allow yourself to sit and imagine your connections. Just sit and feel 
whom and what you are connected with in the moment. It may be in the room or the area of nature you are in. If you're in a forest or with an animal or sitting with your laptop, connecting to those you love through your laptop, or it may be in your imagination connecting to a memory or to those you love elsewhere or to another collective, another dimension or to a past life. It is your imagination, but your imagination is fired up by the truth of your connection that is calling to you. You may, in your mind's eye, in your third eye, or in your heart, in your sacral chakra, you may know who and what, and then allow the song to flow through your heart and allow your imagination to experience the effect it has when your heart song is received by the other, be it a memory, a place, a being. Experience it. When you have found yourself singing and connecting, then you may play with your musical instrument. Pluck the energies like a guitar or a stringed instrument or blow through them like a flute or a horned instrument or sing words of love or hmm, there's playing with the energy playing with this for we all know that even the most serious of work can be more impactful with a smile and a cheerful demeanor. So at this moment, we would like to help you practice this process. We invite you to relax. Go into yourself, allow your energy to be clear and open. Just feel yourself on the inside and meditate for a moment on a question. What is a wonderful attribute within you? Whichever trait comes up. You may be nice or kind, or you may be quick or quick-witted or tenacious, or you may be a wonderful energy healer or have beautiful skills in one way or another, or whichever attribute you make others feel good. Or perhaps you are excellent at your personal grooming and look so others enjoy your presence. It does not matter which each, each time you practice this, you may sing a different heart song. For certainly you have a choir of heart music and heart singers within you. So select one that feels enjoyable for now, one that will make you potentially even happy within yourself, a trait. And then just meditate joyously on your magnificent abilities with this trait and how good it makes you feel. Well, notice when you honor the truth of your profound skill and ability and you own it, your energy increases. It moves out, it has greater power. You may need to remind yourself to open up so more energy can flow into you for certainly you are radiating 
brightly and for good reason. Hmm. Honor yourself and your extraordinary capabilities. You may compliment yourself and receive, accept with gratitude the compliments you give to yourself. And now, open your heart and mind this gratitude and love that you feel for yourself, for this wonderful, extraordinary skill, you may send this gratitude out for whomever wishes to receive it, whom we do not know. For when a stream flows down a mountainside, it does not think what body of water will receive me, otherwise what, I will stop flowing become a swamp. No, it flows, it flows. It does not think which animals are permitted to drink from me or make home in my waters. No, it welcomes all and it flows, it flows, and then you find small fishes live in the waters and little crystals find their place to glitter in the sunlight and animals come and drink from it and make their home homes nearby, and the water flows around rocks and nourishes the roots of the plants and the trees until finally it reaches a river, a swamp, an ocean. It does not matter, for all waters are connected. Eventually the water will rise up in the air and rain down elsewhere. Water is very giving. And every molecule of water has already been all around the world a multitude of times. It does not care if it's in a river or a pond, in your sink water, in the ocean, deep under a desert. Because it is here for a purpose. And this purpose is to bring moisture to the world. And your purpose is to flow your heart song and see where it goes. Where does it go to? Enjoy who connects with your heart song, who receives it. Allow your imagination to open up and explore. If you'd like, you may send extra heart song to wash over whoever is receiving or whatever. You may explore the benefits of your heart song upon this place. Observe and if you'd like, you may fine tune your heart song Make it greater flowing or lighten it up or fluffy like a mist or a jet of propulsion going fast. Play with it with joy. Become one with this entire experience. It is your energy where you are and flowing from you. You may become one with your energy at the receiving place. Allow your awareness to live 
in your energy as it is flowing and where it is received. You may find as your energy merges with the energy of this place, it is transformed into a different entity altogether. The emulsions of the energies create a newer experience. Of course, if this newer creation does not appeal to you, you may gently withdraw your energy. And if it appeals to you, you may even expend your energy in a joy. If you'd like, you may even expand your awareness, raise your awareness to a higher place where you're looking down upon yourself in this energy flow, looking from above a higher perspective to see how your energy is affecting so many for the energy you are creating is flowing elsewhere, creating energy and emulsions. You may see how your small spark of being is affecting so much, so much for the greater good, filling with your love, your being. This technique is the same whether you are sending energy from your heart to another friend or family or a beloved, or if you're sending energy from your heart to an entire solar system or a collective or another dimension. The technique is the same for, of course, we are all connected. You will feel each frequency is unique but the technique is repetitive. You will play with it and each time that will be unique. But again, the fundamental process is the same for whatever you connect with. We recommend you practice this and enjoy. Or there are many subtle benefits and processes. There is much, as we said, playing lines of energy of a mandala. Imagine you have a guitar that is sitting there. It's hmm, just like a piece of nothing until someone picks it up and plays the instrument. So if you see mandalas that maybe are inactive, play them as an instrument, sing to them, dance through them. This activates them, it turns them back on. And then you can feel the goodness from the energy coming back to you as well. We mentioned this. Or, of course, you are in a time where there is much upheaval. There is what you would call an energetic free for all. With all the action that has occurred, energy has exploded in all directions. The timelines even have blown up a bit. You have within you the ability to grab this energy and do with it what you wish. 
all of this chaos craves cohesion. Now is the time for you to take this chaotic energy and use it to power up your loving mandalas and your personal desires. For eventually, all of this chaotic energy will be claimed by someone's so it may as well be you to create the reality of your dreams. Do not cower in fear. Take this chaotic energy, Introduce it to the birds and the flowers, all the beauty around you. Introduce it to the beauty within your heart. Consume this energy and then transform it just as our beloved mother absorbed your energy and transformed it. You may do the same. Absorb all the chaos, transform it to the highest frequency of love, connect it to your wishes, your desires for betterment for self, for others, it matters not. You may consume this energy and request the greatest life for yourself. This is a good thing. You may consume this energy and send it out to others for better lives. This is also a good thing. Consume, create, while enjoying the beauty that has never stopped existing around you. This beauty will be grateful for your acknowledgement. And as any with gratitude do, be happy to support your efforts. Hmm. Indeed. This is what we had wished to share with you on this evening. Do not cower in fear. Do not live in distress. Own your life, consume the energy, and create a new world with the beauty of your vision. Indeed, you have this ability within you. question yes um so this chaotic energy or this overabundance of energy can be equally used for good for beauty for love or it could also be used for something sinister this is correct so, so clean the energy right so what i mean is with the current situation as it occurred, it shows that people can use it for sinister, same energy. Mm -hmm. And I can use it in, in extending my heart song to my beloved tree, which I love and, and adore every day. Um, so as it goes, you mentioned that it is affecting and hampering uh, timelines or warping timelines. And as I understand it, you all are working on those timelines. Can you explain what you are doing to so-called repair these timelines? Hmm. Oh, what a delightfully tricky question. Hmm. <laughs> 
Yes, we have a twofold response for you. So the first, what are we doing with the timelines? Understand most people see timelines as a string, a straight, narrow line. We see time as much broader, much broader with multiple actions happening at once. There is so much more to each of you than you realize. And because you do not realize, you choose to see only the tiniest germ of what you are. Believe us, you are capable, each of you, of much more than you give yourself credit for. So these timelines that are around are in different frequencies and subtle energies. And, and hmm, when something very powerful happens in one timeline, it may claim all the energy to it. Therefore, other timelines that are possibly more benevolent, for certainly you are in one of the denser timelines, some that are more benevolent are sucked of their energy, like the air being sucked out of a room, and they wilt. Some of them are drawn into your timeline as a conduit point you have timelines that's on the group some stay where they are but they have droughts or distresses occurring for you have stolen their energy so to speak hmm. so we have been working on sending the energy back out and refreshing the energy the timelines that have been drawn further into yours we have been trying to get all of the timelines to go forward quickly through this moment towards a lighter moment we have much lighter energy ahead we are trying to direct your timeline to we are not affecting change upon actions or occurrences, merely the frequency of energy. If you impact the frequency of energy that feeds the experience, the experience will shift. You all are aware of this. Think back to a time when you are very upset, very angry, you're ready to explode. And then someone you trust gives you a hug and allows you to weep upon their chest until you have returned to yourself and you are clear-minded again. Because their energy, the lighter, more loving, nurturing one wrapped around your energy allowing you to dissolve the distress. We are attempting to accomplish the same activity of bringing in much love and concern and lighter frequency of energy to help with the human karmic lessons to gravitate towards a happier experience does this answer your question perfectly mm -hmm. yes. now the second part hmm. yes you may absorb the energy others may absorb the energy there's much energy kicking around keep in mind energy is not created or dissipated it merely always changes essence the amount of energy on your planet is the same amount that you have always had but it is constantly evolving shifting changing just as the water flowing down the mountain is in a sauna or in the antarctic hmm 
It just changes location and shape. It may be quenching the thirst of a dinosaur or a princess millions of years later. It does not matter. It is the same water. The energy around you is the same energy that was here a thousand years ago, 10 million years ago, 2 billion years ago. It merely changes shape. If you do not care for the theme of this energy, then to surround this energy with a loving energy will certainly be of benefit. Take this energy, gobble it up in your mouth, your heart, your solar plexus. Send it with love elsewhere, just as our Divine Mother does to you, and you will claim this energy for betterment. Of course, actions of connection. If someone calls you in distress, our world is falling apart. Let them know that you are choosing to be one of healing and offer your healing to them. Invite them to become a chosen person of healing with you to go out to heal others. You do not need to be trigger affected into hysteria. It is very easy to do, of course, very natural when one is anxious, but it is not a requirement. You have the ability when you feel the trigger to stop and say, here is some energy within me, and I choose this energy to be powerful. I choose this energy to send out healing love. I choose to fill it, feed it to my heart song, and then sing to the universe. This is also your choice. Now, as you go forward with your life actions, the energy of your heart song has a great effect of your actions as they send their energy forward. Remember, the more love you put out to flow out and help others, the greater the heart song, the more loving energy is flowing through you as well. A person filled with loving energy will always magnetically attract a variety of interesting experiences. We do not guarantee you will only attract love, but we do guarantee you will always attract interesting. Some experiences will help you be stronger and some experiences will help you relax with greater love. Each of you may feel that you are stronger in a group than individual, but we tell you, no, you are strong. If you crave a group, your soul, your angels, your collectives, your past lives are a group for you. And we tell you, you have a tribe out there that is for you. You need not feel alone ever. Of course, you do feel alone, for that is part of the human state. But when you feel alone, then you may take a moment to introduce yourself to your soul, your guardian angel, your past lives, your angels, your collectives, your teachers, for they are here. You are just used to ignoring them rather than conversing with them. Your soul is aware of your heart song. Your soul created you. Ergo, your soul created the fundamentals of your heart song. 
you may sing to your soul and ask your soul to sing in a duet with you and then send the energy out while you are consuming the chaos. This is a very powerful experience. Have we any questions from any of our friends? Well then, this is wonderful. And we believe it is time for us to give our farewell. We wish to tell you in these chaotic days, you become even more empowered. Make use of this time and claim yourself for it is your right and your privilege. Blessings to you all. We are grateful for this time that we shared with you. Thank you. I guess they decided that they said enough tonight. <laughs> oh. oh, my word. Well, thank you all for joining us. Are you guys on Zoom? Stay with me and we'll chat again in a, or chat in a moment. But all of you on Facebook, thank you for joining us. And... Um, if you want to learn how to manifest all this stuff, go to my website, bonitawoods.org. We start manifesting tomorrow. <laughs> and I personally am very grateful for this idea of self-empowerment, self-love to support our manifesting something, I don't know, nicer than chaos, something nicer for ourselves and for each other. Have a wonderful night.